Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, That Grunge Girl. My name's Alana and I make mental health videos on this channel. If you'd like to subscribe, press that red subscribe button and you can stay up to date with all of the posts that I post weekly and my Instagram and social media is also linked down below in my link tree. So for this video, for this week, I'm going to be talking about some simple practical ways that you can use self-care to lift your mood, to help when you're stressed, for a distraction if you're feeling triggered, um, really just anything if you're feeling down and you need to kind of lift yourself up a bit. I'm going to be giving you some um, things that are for your physical, like kind of exterior, but then I'm also going to be giving you some mental tips and also some um, tips that are more to do with like mental health um, therapy techniques. So I wanted to do some from different categories because I know that self-care is definitely not just a lot of people think that it's just all about making yourself look good. Um, and while that is really important and I think it definitely helps in self-care, we want to make sure you're looking at the whole person instead of just one section. So, yeah, so one of my first tips is always to try to make sure that your sleep is really scheduled and if you can, that you're having good quality sleep or at least trying your best to go to bed at the same time and get up at, us at the same time. I know this can be really difficult. Um, for me, getting up at the same time is normally pretty easy. Um, it's the trying to go to bed at the same time. I take medication to help me sleep, so that does help me, but um, I am definitely a night person and I like to stay up, but I also have bipolar, so I have to be careful that I'm not staying up too late because that can throw out my sleep schedule. But, so getting at least seven hours of sleep is, you know, pretty decent and like quite good obviously if you can get more that's great but that is not a reality for a lot of people and if you're struggling with your mental health especially if you got something like anxiety which I also have that can make it really hard or if you have something like bipolar which I have that can also impact your sleep greatly um but yeah like just picking a time that you're gonna go to bed I would normally go to bed around 10 or 10 30 no later than 11 so I kind of have that flexible night time because I know for me it's just not going to be like realistic for me to go to bed at 10 every night so I kind of have from 10 to 11 I, I go to bed um and then I always get up at either like 8 or 8 30 just depending on what I'm doing. My second tip is going to be for your mental health which is writing in a journal and this doesn't have to be some big fancy thing. It can just be writing a couple of dot points of maybe some things that you're thankful for. Um, this could be writing down some good things that happened during the day. Maybe you had a lot of stressful things happen or stuff that you need to sort through that is triggering you or distressing you. Writing that down and getting your feelings out can be really helpful but I feel like having like a journal and a list of gratitudes and keeping track of events and things that you accomplished can be really helpful for the times when you are feeling really bad about yourself you can go back and look at what you've actually achieved and what you're actually grateful for my next thing is physical and that's to keep base keep up with basic personal hygiene I'm not talking about face masks I'm not talking about um a billion like you know having a ridiculously long skincare routine I mean basics I'm saying brushing your teeth um washing your hair at least once a week you know um or however many times you want to do it but you know I'm talking basics here um washing your face in the morning uh just little things like that you know having a shower every day those type of things can be very challenging when you live with mental health or physical illnesses it's like face masks and having a nice skincare routine or you know washing your hair a few times a week and styling it doing things like that definitely makes you feel so much better like I always feel a lot better when I actually have washed my hair but I know for me personally I don't have the physical energy to do everything every day so I have to prioritize what is the main things 
and what is the most important because I know that for me with my mental and physical health issues it's just not viable for me to do extra things on top of what's considered kind of basic but you want to make sure you're taking care of yourself because you deserve it and also for your physical health you don't want it to suffer in the long term my next one is to pick foods that you enjoy eating and this could be you know like I'm really loving eating strawberries at the moment strawberries have been my favorite fruit uh favorite food right now so strawberries I also have actually have a packet here I really like these lollies these snake lollies I allow myself to eat them as a self-care thing and I think that's really important for me Next thing is taking your medications. If you have medication, making sure that you're getting them filled. If you need assistance, getting somebody asked to pick the medication up or getting the pharmacy to deliver it. I know a lot of pharmacies deliver medication. We're taking it because that's there to help you. And more of the physical thing, which would be to, if you're you know, a girl and you like wearing makeup, to put some makeup on and it doesn't have to be you don't have to be really great at makeup. It can just be mucking around with it. Or yesterday I put a little bit of makeup on and I just had a doctor's appointment. And normally I don't really bother looking that great when I go to the doctor's because I just don't have the energy and it's just the doctor's. But yesterday I woke up and I was feeling really bad about myself um, and was feeling really tired and stuff. So I decided just to put a little bit of makeup on and a outfit like this jumper that I have that I haven't worn for ages that I really like and just by doing that and also I got new glasses recently and just by doing those few little things that has made me feel a lot better and just improved my mood and my self-image a little bit. Dye your hair if that's something that you like to do. I love dyeing my hair either myself or getting someone else to do it but it, you know, whatever you like doing, I feel like that is definitely very fun and getting to try different hair colors. You know, having a change in your hair color or in your glasses or with your, um, maybe getting a new piercing or a tattoo or just something like that, like that is definitely a part of self-care and can be really helpful to boost your, you know, self-image in the way that you see yourself. Next is mental and that is to do mindfulness activities regularly this can be breathing exercises this can be going outside and I like to go outside and sit without my phone and just have like a cup of tea or a coffee the last few is to um maybe buy a new outfit if you have the money for this and you know I know that like spending money on clothes and stuff if you don't have much money can sometimes be a bit of a waste for some people but for me, I do this because I know that just having that like new outfit can really make me feel better because I like to have a couple outfits that are my favorite that I know that I feel good in. I feel like I look good in them. And when I get stressed and I have to go out or I'm feeling really bad about my body or self-conscious or whatever the thing is, when I get to put that outfit on and go out, even if like I'm having a bad day, just putting that outfit on, it makes me feel a lot better. One is to spend time with friends or family. And this is really important because, you know, when you get met, when you have mental health problems or physical health problems, it can be really easy to isolate. Maybe you don't have access to, you know, um, getting to friends or family, like, you know, being able to leave your house on your own, or maybe if you have a lot of physical or mental health issues that cause you to mentally struggle or whatever the reason is you know there's so many reasons as to why you can feel isolated but even if it's doing a zoom or like um you know chatting over instagram video chat i often do that with some of my friends who live overseas or friends who don't live where i live um or just sending somebody a text and having a little chat with them can be really good i really hope those tips helped you they were my self-care tips I tried to include things out of the different um, areas of health because I know that it's not just limited to your physical exterior and how you look. So if you have any other suggestions, leave it down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye.